everybody, just wanted to check in. Surgery went great, uh, was a complete success. Had a great medical team uh, that took care of me and um, checked that, that box off to get this fixed and now it's on the way to, you know, the road to recovery. Um, you know, this is a, a, one of those steps to get back to my true self. Um, this past year hasn't been very easy. Uh, a lot of stuff has gone down and it wasn't, wasn't easy on me or my family. So I appreciate everybody that's reached out that wished me well and good luck on the surgery, all the prayers and everything. It, it definitely did not go unnoticed, so thank you. Um, thanks to everybody that's helped out so far. Um, now, it's, now it's on the way to the road to recovery. It's not gonna be an easy one, but um, it's gonna be one that I'm gonna remember and it's gonna be a special one. So uh, I'll keep you guys updated. Thank you so much. Uh, but this, isn't the, this is not the end of my story. Uh, it's just gonna be one of those little things that I'll look back and remember that it's um, one of those challenges that in adversity that I'm going to try and take advantage of and it'll make me a better person. So thank you for everybody that's reached out once again. Uh, let's go get it. The record remains unbroken. Every surgery performed on every NFL player every single time is a complete success. You never hear what Kramer said to George's girlfriend, Audrey, after she had the nose job, you got butchered. It never happens. <laughs> yeah. Everything's a success. And he's already ahead of schedule in his rehab. And I don't mean to be flipping about it. Look, it's a big deal. It's a big deal. You can see. You can see. That's a big deal. He's going to be in discomfort. He's going to be in pain. He's got a rehab ahead of him. It is a long road. It's going to take work. It's going to take effort. you got to worry about infection. It's good that it was a success. It's always a success. But I think the trick is making sure that you check every box on the road back to 100 percent and it's going to be a while four to six months before he's fully recovered from this chris yeah no it, it will not be easy i mean you know just there right you know let alone i think you know you look at and I, I hope for a speedy recovery for him hey you say what you want about baker mayfield he's tough as hell that's for sure but uh yeah it's 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 a dangerous injury good thing it's not just throwing shoulder we know that but I also, you know me, I just go right to football and think about, damn, he's not going to be able to practice at OTAs, probably won't be able to do the mini camp, anything like that. He's going to have to go right into the training camp and hit the ground running there. And that's not always easy to do either. And especially in a year where I think it's a big offseason for him you know, and their offense and Kevin Stefanski and figuring out some ways to be a little bit more successful in the pass game, that's where it hurts the Cleveland Browns, certainly. Uh, I would think like just because it's his left shoulder, he could probably start throwing at some point when they feel like he can move that shoulder a little bit. You know, uh, again, there's ways to throw and still guard that and I think not be, like, too hard on it. Uh, but I don't know when that, like, you know, you hit that line to where you go, okay, you can start throwing the ball lightly because it's your other arm. Uh, but, but yeah, it's, it's a challenge here for the Browns and, and Baker Mayfield in the offseason. You, you tell me, is there a concern you mess up your motion, though, if you're being – careful and deliberate about what you do with one side because you don't want to mess up the other yeah i, I would be less concerned Th that would be one there i'd go hey it's not to me it's not like you know you got a bad leg or a bad like dak prescott we talk about the ankle where it could like okay last year in training camp we were talking about i don't know if he can really push off with that leg it looks like it's fake that way and that caused some issues and then it caused him to use more arm and then we saw the lat injury i don't think that will have those type of repercussions I think it might not let him just absolutely rip the ball but you know again okay you got to keep your front I'm lefty you got to keep that front shoulder in there a little tight and you can't maybe just rip it out of there and do that listen in some ways this might be a blessing in disguise at times he gets so much with that front arm going crazy that everything ends up going crazy and the ball goes crazy and it doesn't go uh so I, I'm, I guess what I'm saying is I, I, I don't think it'll affect his mechanics a whole lot. I think he, he is, as soon as he can move it and do something, he should be okay, and I don't think it'll affect it. And, and let's remember, and this is, this is in all fairness, and this is a warning to all of the quarterbacks out there, this all happened because he decided to go make a tackle after throwing an interception in week two, whether right. it was just kind of a hot-headed in-the-moment reaction. He's pissed at himself. He's pissed at what occurred. This is when he re-injured it several weeks later against the Cardinals. He already had the oh, injury, then man. he was wearing the harness oh. at that point. And that's when it looked like he was done for the oh, year. no doubt. But it all it all started because he gave in. And I, I know we don't, we, you know, the Teddy Bridgewater where you go well, act like a, a, a bullfighter. Right. You, you just, just shelter in place. That's the fine line. You never even put yourself in a position where you get called out for not trying to make the tackle if you just get down. 
Just get down. You threw an interception, fall down, stay down. Don't even go try to make the tackle. You are an asset to your team that has incredible value. And even if that guy takes it all the way to the house, unless we're talking about season on the line, playoff game, right? You shelter in place and you live to fight another day because the team needs you more than it needs you to stop that guy from scoring a touchdown. Yeah, I, I think there's a fine line. I don't go as far as you. You got to stop the guy from scoring a touchdown. You get down in front of him and make sure he trips over you. That's what you do. In, a, in week two? Well, I in would. Week two. I think it's hard, yes. In week two, yes. You just don't throw your shoulder. I mean, he tried to hit the guy like he was a legit, like, strong safety, and he thought he was Jamal Adams. That's where it was ridiculous, to your point. But – you know, again, what also is ridiculous is Teddy Bridgewater. Teddy Bridgewater never, never played for me again if he did that to me and I was the head coach of that team. I'd have been like, sit down, drink Gatorade. Oh, my gosh, I can't believe you just did that. And even his second attempt after the other whatever one was being, he didn't tackle there. He just threw his shoulder into the guy's hip. Like, I mean, that, that, was, that was embarrassing. All right? So there is a fine line, though, to, to your point where – you know, again, you don't do what Baker Mayfield does. You don't do what Teddy Bridgewater does. But you find a way, whether I watch Peyton Manning and even Brady in his career, where, you know, you just get in the way and make sure the guy falls over you. That's the way you protect yourself as a quarterback. Uh, but certainly to your point, you know, you – Hey, if you got to dive and all of a sudden throw yourself in a spot to where, oh my gosh, I'm in a really vulnerable spot and get hurt. No, then you don't do that and you let him freaking go and okay, you live to play another day. But uh, I don't know if I'd go as far as you. But I think that's part of the key. If you're comfortable making that play and knowing that you can maybe take the guy's legs out, kind of roll into him, not have a collision with any body part that could get twisted or bent right, or whatever. Right. You, have to, you have to know... You have to know your physical limits, and you have sure, to stay within sure. them. And That's if all right. else fails, shelter in place. If yeah. all else fails, yeah. shelter in place. All right. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.